The Santa Barbara water polo community is tight, so tight that during the CIF Division II playoffs, both San Marcos and Dos Pueblos have rooted each other on all the way to the championship game. It was a packed pool at Dos Pueblos with around 1,000 people coming out for this special community event. Friendly rivals San Marcos and DP deciding the D2 title. Chargers goalie Reggie Robles was a force in DP's semifinal win and he started strong with a couple of early saves. The Chargers get the first goal of the game. Senior standout Jaden Moore scores one of his two goals in the game. San Marcos shakes off the nerves and scores two straight times. Mateo Abando and rising sophomore star Will Stewart striking from distance. 2-1 San Marcos after the first quarter. After the Royals extended the lead to 4-2, DP charges back with three straight goals. Aiden Bishop, Eli Carnahy, and Ben Fuhrer score. Dos Pueblos led 5-4 at the half, but the favored Royals stayed calm. We knew we had to step it up. We had a few mistakes there in the second quarter. We just want to flip around and end on like a strong note. San Marcos junior goalie Sam Rich came up huge in the second half with several saves as DP's offense was stymied. At the other end of the pool, the San Marcos offensive weapons took over. Jacob Maggot tied the game at five. Will Stewart so strong. Back-to-back -back goals to put the Royals up seven to five. Stewart with a game-high three goals. Senior Nick Prentice tallied two goals. Royals led 8-6 after three quarters. We also knew that we had a lot of depth too, so we used that to our advantage. And going into the third and fourth quarter that day, uh, DP would run out of steam. Just one goal was scored in the final quarter. San Marcos senior Luke Burns doing the honors. Everybody in the pool for the San Marcos Royals. They celebrate a 9-6 CIF Southern Section Division II championship. It's the Royals' first boys water polo title since 1994. The underdog Dos Pueblos Chargers overachieved to get the runner-up in Division II. The Royals were the top seed in D2, and they finished number one. I couldn't be more proud of my team and how far we made it. it it's really just... Our two goals were in Channel League and CIF, and we did those both those things. I worked all four years. My sophomore year, we got to quarterfinals, and then we made it to semis. So I'm losing my voice. And then this year, to finish it off with such an amazing team, it's, it's the best feeling in my life. A picture-perfect season, indeed. This is Mike Clan reporting from Goleta.